Hey there, John from PatSexBlog.com, here today to talk about what is my number one slideshow of video maker, and more importantly, why I'm now making these videos. Before we get into that, this presentation is sponsored by Ezoic, and it's timely because Ezoic, which is really well known for split testing ads for making more money from display ads for publishers, is rolling out a video player that will be monetized and able to embed on your site with schema markup for search traffic. So watch out for that. It's not there yet, but it's coming soon, so I'm told, which I think is a very, very good development. So why do I make videos? Now, I make videos for FastSax blog, and I do it for FastSax differently than for my niche sites. Okay, FastSax is more of building up an audience, and whether people watch them on YouTube or my site, well, I prefer they watch it on my site and go to my site, but it's also not a bad thing if they watch them on YouTube. However, for niche sites, it's different. In fact, I, I built up quite a big channel. I wouldn't say huge, but you know, I threw up a lot of videos for my biggest niche site, and I never really made much money. They never got a whole lot of views. Now, granted, I am not the best video maker. I didn't put a lot of effort into them. Most of them were slideshow style videos. However, it just really wasn't worth the effort. But now with video schema markup, and being able to embed videos directly on the site and have those videos show up in Google search either under the video tab or if I get really lucky in the video carousel for long tail search terms, it takes up another slot in the Google search pages. And that gets me excited because that is more traffic to my website. And traffic to my website is where I'm going to earn a good revenue per thousand visitors. And I can also earn revenue from the actual ads embedded in the video player itself. So if I can drive traffic to my site with video, I'm very excited. YouTube, I'm not so keen about for my niche sites. That's not to say that if you have a niche site that, that YouTube is a bad idea. There are lots of niches. And if you're skilled at making videos, it could be your number one channel for building up an audience. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just not a big video person. But if I can do something simple, with slideshow videos and drive them to my website, I'm going to do it. And that's what I'm talking about today. So essentially the type of video I'm talking about are simple slideshow videos. I'm not doing super complex video shoots. That's not my thing. I'm not terribly good at it. You can even see with the FastX videos to this point, they're basically screen shares or slideshows. All right. So in terms of choosing which content on my niche sites, I turn into slideshows it's really going to boil down to having lots of images. That's a listicle type stuff. It's pretty simple. I don't try to present complex concepts or any of that into a slideshow video. Essentially, the slideshow video has to actually pretty much convey the information in the, in the article decently in a video format. If I can't do that, if I can't do it justice, I don't do it. So, my number one or my favorite video slideshow maker right now is Adobe Spark. I'm not even sure if you've heard it. I'm no doubt you've heard of Adobe, but they have this really simple, inexpensive slideshow video maker. They are also the maker of Premiere. I think it's Adobe Premiere Pro or something. Super high-end, probably top-of-the-line, best-of-market video editing software. But they also have this one called Spark. And it's really simple. It's $9.99 per month for individual and $20 for team. And you can crank out slideshow videos very quickly, but it does not have a lot of bells and whistles. Uh, but I'm okay with that because I would prefer to be able to just do it quickly and simply and, and have a decent video turnout than have to learn a million different things. If I want complicated, I'll get the Premiere Pro. If I just want simple, this is the one way to go, okay? Now, I've used Animoto, I've used Content Samurai, and I've used Google Notes to create these types of slideshow videos. Animoto is actually very good, but it costs more than twice as much, and you can't narrate the individual slides as long as you can with Adobe Spark, which can come in very, very handy. Content Samurai was really cool. It actually has quite a few bells and whistles. I think the claim to fame there is it will actually do a, I guess, a computerized narration of text you input and i've listened to it and i guess it sounds pretty good it's it's not something i would do in fact i i don't even add any sound or music to my videos because i think when someone's on a site and, and sound starts blaring it's really annoying so i don't even add it but i could understand why people would want some sort of uh, voiceover i'm just not sure if the computerized approach is the best at least for me so let's take a look at the back end of adobe spark and you can, you can see it for yourself. You can see how simple, but also how quick and easy it is to use. 
Okay, we are in the back end of a Adobe Spark, and I'm going to give you a quick run through of how this works. You just bring, you, you open up a number of slides that you need. You can create more. You have an automatic outro that you can use in format. When you set up your account, you can upload your logo, so your branding will show up by default in these, but you can also turn it off. You can see here I could have a logo here show up. I usually don't because the captions tend to overlap. So if you're on the home the title slide here. You could add text if you like, like that, and you can choose whether it's just a, a full screen or a caption or just the title and text or split screen. I'll show you each of those. This would be the caption type. You can move this around to into different parts of the screen, and I use these captions a lot on on not just the title slides but in um, slides throughout videos. You can also narrate over a particular slide. So if you wanted to describe or talk about this, you could just click here and narrate into it, and then you'd stop it and move to the next slide. And that's actually a very, very handy feature if you're doing sort of listicles and you want to describe what's being viewed and so forth. That's a, that's a very nice feature. Now, in, in, to bring in images is very, very simple. You just drag over an image like that. You add your text or icon. And then once you've done that, you can choose what type of format you want. Here on the side, I almost always do captions. However, if you wanted to do a split screen, you could do this. So if you had two images you want to put side by side or an image with text, you can do that. You can reverse it like this. And if this isn't quite in the view that you like, you can drag that around like that. And then you could either add text on this side or you can drag in another image or perhaps even video and of course adjust that. At the end you have a credit slide. I don't really use that, I just make up my own if credits are necessary. You have a, and a call to action if you need it, I typically use that. You have a lot of music options. I tend to have music turned off but you do have included stock music tracks that you can add. You can adjust the time of every slide right here. I usually go anywhere from two if it's just an image up to four if there's image with text. I don't like them longer than that. They get really boring. And that is about it. Once you are done with your video, you can adjust these slides around any way like that. One beef I have with the software is I can't just drag in 20 slides and load them up and then put them in. It's one by one, slide by slide, which I don't really like that much about it. However, uh, some nice positives would be that everything is saved automatically, so I don't have to really worry about saving. It's always in there. Uh, I definitely love this record, record audio option, and uh, as you can see, it's very, very simple and very, very quick uh, and easy, and you download right here when it's done, and... If you want to resize it, you can as well. We're doing the widescreen, but you can also make square. I really wish they had the vertical for Pinterest, but they don't. So I just post square videos to Pinterest if I'm going to do that. That pretty much wraps up showing you all the features you get with Adobe Spark. Very simple. Don't expect a lot of bells and whistles. But a lot of times when it comes to software, I, I actually would prefer simple. I don't need a lot. I mean, a slideshow is a slideshow is a slideshow. Sure, I can't change all the text and make it look all, all as nice as I want with a million different custom fonts. I don't really need that. I don't really care. I just want it quick and I want it inexpensive. And Adobe Spark is actually fairly inexpensive. It is a monthly cost, but compared to others out there, it's uh, it's a lot less money. So if you're looking for some something simple to create SlideShare, I do recommend Adobe Spark. It's the one I'm using. I've used Animoto quite a bit in the past. Animoto has a limited narration duration here for their slides, which I don't like. They have other limitations, but I would say overall Animoto is pretty sweet. It's pretty fast. It's pretty easy. I've tried the uh, Content Samurai. That has a lot of bells and whistles. It does some automated, uh, I think, voice work that you can with text and so forth. I don't really care for that sort of thing, but I could understand if you do, that would that would be a reason to get that. It costs a little bit more, but also fairly quick and easy. Uh, more options here. A little bit more cumbersome than this. Uh, one I would really like uh, would be Lumen 5. I've checked that out, but unfortunately the pricing is, is outrageous. It's just simply not worth it compared to really what I get. I think I pay, I'm not even sure what I pay for Adobe Spark, but I know it's not more than 20 bucks a month, and that's quite a bit less than most of the others on the market. Thanks for watching.